What is going on everyone? So this is a very different video. I've only done this a couple times in the past, but we did a little bit of island camping and fishing in today's video. I'm out of here with JC from JC Fishing. We didn't film an intro or anything yesterday. We started rolling with it, but what we did was we went out on the boat in the later afternoon, probably about three o'clock is when we got out with the goal to try and catch some dinner while we were fishing on the boat and then bring it to an island, cook it on the island and then camp there. So I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm going to start getting right into the video from where we were fishing yesterday. We have an hour and a half, pretty much, to try and catch our dinner for island camping tonight. Or else we die. Or else we have to resort to terrible, terrible hot dogs. <laughs> so we have a bunch of live shrimp and we also have some greenbacks. And we're going to be targeting sheep's head and black drum here to start. So I have a live shrimp right here. I'm actually gonna break them in half. I'm gonna be using half a shrimp. I have a 1-0 live bait hook right here. I'm gonna feed on half the shrimp on it there. Got a little split shot about an inch above the hook. Got some 20 pound leader. And we're gonna be casting by these docks over here, seeing if we could pick up some sheep's head and black drum. This is also one of the only spots that are out of the wind right now. It's quite windy out today. So let's try getting it by these pilings. See if there's any sheep set or black drum. Oh, got bit. Oh, yep. I felt like sheep. Did it? Look yep. Sheepy ish. Yeah, look how mangled your shrimp is. Yep. This is a shrimp ball right now. Gotta catch our dinner. We do. Crossword. We're not gonna make it tonight. We're not gonna make it. We might die on an island if we don't catch food there. I'm gonna put a new piece of shrimp on. Oh what do you have? I wasn't, I don't know. I was so got it? to get my camera on. It feels like, Ooh. oh, it's a red. Is it a red or is, is it a red? black drum? No, it's a red for sure. Oh, wait, black, drum, black drum, black drum, black drum. That's a perfect black That's drum. It's perfect. It's perfect. Need, need the net? Um, awesome. Okay. This is your dinner that this we're talking about. This is our dinner. We've been working hard at for the solid 10 minutes that he's been Literally 10 minutes. That's not a black drum. I was just like, I think that's a black yeah, drum. Yeah, I know. I thought it was a red at first because the water's kind of murky. Get that dinner. It's like that I dinner. saying that. I usually don't say that, but we're living on an island next week. <laughs> he doesn't want the net. That's dinner. That is dinner. Unless that's... Hey, that's dude, quick that's dinner. Nice. That's quick dinner. Dude, that's over 14 that's, for sure. Yeah. Is that all we really need, really, though? Like, technically? I mean, I mean one filet each? Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep tossing have. shrimp a little bit, but dude, good do. job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh my god, I thought you released them. No. I just wanted to wash them off. 17 and a half? Perfect. That's a perfect, perfect eating backdrop. I've hey. never had one. It's pretty good. Have you had one? Yeah, it's solid. So JC's already got dinner. Well, Let me I mean, we, both we both got dinner. I just want to see, you know, if I could catch my own dinner, you know? Hypothetically. Hypothetically. I'm going to try going back here and see if I can get like this angle. Yeah, like, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Dinner? Another black. Oh, it's a red. Red. A little red. Yeah. Yep, that's a red. That's not a black drum. Nope. So we got two drum off this dog. Yeah. Do you need another? Nah, I got them. Yeah. Probably right at like 18. Yeah, that probably would be. Ah, uh, it might be a little short. Maybe. That was cool, dude. He thumped the crap really out of it. Did. Yeah, I saw that. So, so hey, I got a little redfish. That could have been. You I'll measure them. No, we already got. I would not keep redfish even if this was the first fish we caught. Come on. Yeah. It's going nuts. I'm gonna say that is slot. If it's yeah, if it is, it's right at like 18. Right there. Oh, dude, that's like 19. Almost 20. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I was a little off. Yeah. So yeah, this is a slot redfish if we did want to keep them 
but we already got that black drum and I wasn't gonna keep a redfish anyway today. So let me get the hook out of them. It's still a good fish though. Yeah, pump really the crap out of it. Stuff. Beautiful fish. It's your lucky day. Cheated. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. I caught a fish. Let's get some more. Maybe a mullet. Okay. There's a lot of fish in this coat this time of year. Oh yeah. Fish like to stack up in these coves when the water temp cools down like it is right now. It's a muddy bottom and it stays warmer in here. Got him. Little sheep. Little guy. That's little yeah, sheep. That's gonna be close. A bit close. Ah, uh, that's gonna be really close. He's gonna be like ten. Ten. Yeah. He's gonna be ten. But that's the other one we were looking for. The other species, at least. We got both that we said we were targeting. Yeah, I don't know if this guy's gonna be quite keeper. 11. Oh. So close. I need to be 12 to keep. Get a little bit bigger one. See you, dude. Alright, so we fished for about an hour and a half. Got, I got the redfish, one little sheep's head, a couple little baby snook, and JC was able to catch us dinner. So we kept one 17 and a half inch black drum that we're gonna go cook for dinner right quick. And it is. 510 right now sunsets at about 545 so we're gonna go run to an island and set up camp and start cooking up some uh fish dinner and show you guys basically how you guys are able to do this it's a free campsite pretty much. It, is, it is a free campsite so enough talking we gotta get running gotta set up camp pulling up to the island right now Campsite right in front of us. There's nobody on it. We just gotta pull up now, get the boat situated, and start loading up our stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw an anchor off the back as we're heading up toward the beach because the tide's going to come up a little higher and then drop pretty far down tonight. But tomorrow morning is gonna be roughly about the same tide as we have right now. So as long as we make sure the boat it's still floating a little bit right now. We should be good to go in the morning. Thank you, sir. Coming in hot. Got it. I like how you're hugging it. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, hey, dude. How you doing? I'm warm. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm wet and cold. <laughs> there you go. I feel bad. I feel like I should be running. Here, I can up. take. No, I'm good. So this is our campsite for the evening. I've actually been to this exact spot, oh geez, I think it was about two years ago now, and haven't been back here. I wanted to try a different island, but there's already people set up on there, so. Came back here, the Old Reliable. It's a great spot, it's on this little peninsula right here. So now all we have to do is set up our hammocks and get a fire going and start cooking this black drum. This is our little campsite right here. Just set up the two hammocks that are blowing in the wind. Now we gotta get a, a fire going so we can cook the fish, but do you wanna set up the fire and I'll fillet the fish? Yeah. We'll do so that? Let's tag team, yeah, let's Kay. split, divide and conquer is the word. Got the black drum right here. Just set up a little fillet table right here on the beach. It's gonna fillet this guy up right quick. Uh, JC's making the fire and we'll get to cooking. Got the black drum right here, all filleted up, ready to go. JC, has got the fire going now. Hey, you did a good job. Thank you, you did a good job. Thanks, dude. Now let's get the cooking. Perfect. 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 We don't want one good side point. to be too cooked and one not to be enough cooked. Gonna be using the blackening seasoning right here. Good the redfish old, magic. Good old redfish magic. All we're gonna do is cut them in these little strips, put a little bit of the blackening seasoning on them. A little bit of butter in the tin foil, wrap it all up, put it next to the fire, it should be good to go. Do you see this red fish magic whirlwind right here? Yes. How much do you like a lot? Yeah. I like a lot too. Alright. 
I'll get whatever I can on there. It's blowing around like crazy, but. Oh, yeah. It's one, two, and three. And I think we're good to go, dude. Yeah. I think and this is going to be delicious. You need to grab more tinfoil or you want to wrap it up like um, that? Maybe we should do That's more. what I was thinking. Yeah, because you don't want to like crumple all the fish together. There we go. There's our fish in the tinfoil. All Time right. Put it on the fire. All right, ready? Good call. The heavy duty side. Yeah, the heavy duty side. Here we go. Got our fish on the fire. Probably let that cook for you know, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Check it. Let's see how it looks. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. Don't mess up. You're gonna probably have to, yeah. There you go. There you go. I hear it's sizzling. It's still sizzling. It is sizzling. That smells good. Do you smell that? No. That smells. Oh man. Oh yeah. That, brings back that like, is black and seasoning. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, that is black. Oh. Oh, brother. Oh my. Where are you doing? Oh. Oh, brother. Look at that. Are you kidding? A little bit extra oh, so looking good. It does look really good. I mean, a little burnt. A little burnt, but. Hey, a little crunchy. A little crunchy. All right. I'm gonna get this piece right here. I'll go with the top one. Okay. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. You just dropped half of it on the table. Well, That's the good. half I got was good. Yeah, the half I got was good, too. I mean, you can't go wrong. Or blackening, seasoning, and butter. No. If you're on an island with two things to cook fish, easy. Butter, blackening, seasoning, right? Like, you just, it's its tasty. It tastes that like, is a really good fish, actually. It tastes like something you cook in a kitchen. And we're not just saying that. It really does. Do you want to try doing the hot dog buns? Sandwiches? And, like, shove them in and make, like, makeshift sandwiches? Yes. Is that a question? Yeah. What's to do with that? Let's make sandwiches. Yeah, those. And then, which yeah. kind did you say one? Uh, they're, like, potato shoestring chips thing. I don't Ooh. know what. Read it, but shoestring potatoes. That's fancy. No, it's 80 cents. It's not fancy. That's fancy. <laughs> we're also, we're um, shoving black drum into hot dog buns. <laughs> we are, this is bad. We are not fancy right we're now. We're down bad right now, guys. But this is going to be so good, I don't even care. It's going to taste good. That's all that matters. It's like a, like a makeshift lobster roll. <laughs> yeah, makeshift. Or it's kind of like kind of like a blackened hogfish sandwich, except it's not. Except it's black drum. <laughs> it's black drum and on put it in a hot dog bun. It's fine. Should it's I put fine. the chips in it? I don't know, it's your fish sandwich. I'm gonna take off the burnt part though. Cause a little bit did get I'll burnt. that. Are you serious? Dude, you're nuts. That was salty. I bet. I'm just gonna go in for a bite. Okay. Why is that like really good? Because we're on an island and we're starving. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've had worse meals. I've had definitely worse meals than yeah. this while camping. For sure. Oh god. Yep, this is great. A lot of chocolate, isn't it? Oh, buff out. Oh my, do you see that? Yeah, that'll work. Wow, that'll do. Oh my. Do it, take a bite. <laughs> Without hesitation. <laughs> it's good, what can I say? Good morning, everyone. So we are waking up right now. The sun is just now rising over the horizon and we're gonna cook up some eggs on this little fire right quick and see what we're gonna do for the rest of the morning. There we go. <laughs> that Publix told me Jack though. Look at that. That looks delicious. Chef Boyardee. Right there. Oh, 
don't know if we mentioned this this morning, but what do you think the temp is right now? Low 50s, mid 50s? Probably mid 50s right now, probably like 55. But it's blowing like 15 right now. So that's why I am in three layers of clothing. My Florida blood can't handle this. My harsh conditions that we got going on right now. So all we're doing now is just kind of packing up. As you can see, the boat behind me, still kind of on shore. So we probably have another like half hour, 45 minutes before that's floating. So we're just gonna kind of slowly pack up everything, uh, load it on the boat while there's not too much water in between us and the boat. And then once it's floating, probably get out of here and see if we can do a little more fishing this morning before we have to head back in. I'll hop up here if you want to hand me stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll hand you this up and then I'll get the front anchor. Ugh. These chairs are... All right, front anchor's up. All right, you ready? Yep. That's it. 